All right, guys, so we're right where we left off from the last video. And I'm trying to figure out this challenge here. So... So if I go through there, right, there's a platform. If I go this way... Oh! Rebellion. See, then there's that. Push myself all the way over here. Okay. Then there's like, I'm above the platform, right? Oh, you know what? I wonder. Hmm. Let's just try this. Nothing. That doesn't do anything. Okay, let's uh, let's go back. Okay, let's go here. Let's go this way. See, I don't see anything. Okay, well, maybe I need to stop it there. Let me get off. No, because I gotta go. Wait a second. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. So I think I think I know what I need to do now. Okay. So pull this forward. Pull this around. Okay. So we'll go there. Oh, mama. Go here. Pull this over here. Okay. Get off. Come over here. Right? Because if you go through here... Okay. So... Okay. Oh, no! Man, this is a. Uh, this is tricky. Does this need to go? Because I see it there, right? If I do this. Then what? I get out. Right? Oh no! Come on, baby! How do you get 
up there. No! Oh, I think I know. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I know now, because I'm an idiot. Ooh, you just stay here, I think, right? So we want to be... Let's get... Oh. There we go. Yep, there we go. Aha! There we go. I got it so far. Took a minute. It took a minute, but I got it. Holy crap. Woo! Don't you don't you dare fall off my boy. Oh whoa. Wowzers. Okay, let's get back to the gameplay, guys. Let's get back to the gameplay.
Okay, well, we're going to try that again here. Thought I could do it on the first time, but nope. Come on, man. Start this whole damn fight over again. Don't like the look of this. Dude, what? It I was healing myself. Oh. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, so maybe I need to armor uh yeah, here we go. Just says that right here. I don't wanna look goofy, but we're gonna have to get better gear on. I look so stupid though. How dumb I look. Okay, whatever. Um Third time's a charm, man. We're gonna get this. Let's try not to use those eggs. Keep all these until... Need them. Oops. I don't want to do that. Woo! Okay. 
Stop it. Stop it. Here we go. I might have to take little breaks here. What the fuck? I'm dead. We're not gonna die, we're not gonna die. Dude, what is going on here? Stop it, stop it. Come on. Give me health, please, Lord Jesus, give me health. No, stop it, stop with the reparo. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Get out of get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, no! Come on! Jesus Christ! Ah! Uh, this is like... Jesus, man. I'm 19 minutes in and all I've done was just fight this fucking thing. Got those. Wait, what? <sighs> Wait. Oh. 
Oh wait. Okay. Come on. Bullshit. What the fuck? Stop preparing. So dumb that I can't use again. Oh, who's shooting me? Please don't die. Fucking kidding me! 
What? What the fuck? Nah, I'm going to easy on this. I I'm sorry. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this. Nah, 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 nah. We're going, we're going easy. Sorry. We're going easy. Fuck that. I'm done. Guys, we're, we're 25 minutes into this. I'm going to try it on easy mode. I'm sorry, but we'll go back to normal. But, dude, I almost had him. Nope. We're not playing this rule. Is that really all it does? Stop preparing. Stop preparing shit. Oops. I'm gonna try this on easy mode, guys. Should be able to take this bitch down. Oh, yeah, look at this. Stop you. Fuck you. Yeah, I mean, this is, I'm sorry, but doing it on normal, it's just too damn hard. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win it. that God 
Damn. Motherfucker. Wow. Another pencil. Kind of pissed that I couldn't do it on, um, you know, uh, normal mode, but I can only do an hour of recording per, per video. So I already wasted half of the video, uh, doing, uh, the battle. So you did get to see me struggle a little bit, right? Rebellion. So there's that. Nothing back here. Okay. Never know. All right, here we go. agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to, Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of defense against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Stone. That 
must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fick. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. You look familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed, in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You'll find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other.
Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Rebellion. Uh. Ah, new face! Rebellion! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. Item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. 
But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Rebellion! Rebellion. I'd take up her volunteer if it didn't involve fun. Hogs meet, here I come.
Hey you, Gryffindor. All right, guys, we're going to end it here. It's going to be a little shorter than usual. It's about... Uh, not really. Actually, it's it's about an hour. <laughs> um, but yeah, we finally got our broom. I got, I think, what's the coolest broom so far uh, in the game. I don't know if you get more um, brooms that pop in every once in a while. Who knows? But you know what? We beat the fucking first Percival trial. That was a pain. Uh, as you can tell, the frustration of my voice from when we were battling. My god, man. You have to be a significantly skilled gamer, which most of you probably are. Um, trying to take down that guy on normal mode. But anyways, I almost had it. But I couldn't just make that whole this whole video a battle of, of the first trial. So, went to easy mode. Took care of him. We're learning a lot. We finally got our broom. And we're in part, what, 12? So, 12 parts later, we finally get our broom. Which means this series, like I said, is going to be a very long one. So... Again, we're just getting started. There's so many missions we can do now. We have a broom. We don't need to really... I mean, we can fast travel if we want. But a lot of people like the exploring of the game, of the world and the game using our broom. So we're going to be doing that a lot. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope both of these upload simultaneously within the next... Excuse me. 24 hours. It is 10 o'clock. I have work tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day. 7 a.m. and then the last three days are 6 a.m. and I am going on day six out of nine tomorrow. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm excited for this weekend. Next weekend is going to be my birthday. I'm going to be 34 years old on March 11th. I'm excited. Um, I won't be on March 11th or 12th. Uh, well, maybe, maybe the 12th. Maybe we'll see. Um, but certainly not March 11th. My wife has something planned. She won't tell me. She knows. Um, there's, there's just, I have to go with the flow on it. So she's been planning this for a couple of months. So I'm excited about that. But anyways, guys, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing on this video. It means a lot to me. And, uh, we're going to keep continuing on. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.